Peter, good news or what? You've got palladium. Yeah. Yeah. And rhodium. Rhodium's at $14,000 an ounce. People get excited about palladium. Rhodium's at $14,000 an ounce. And we have rhodium. We have palladium. And we have a lot of gold. Okay, so let's just jump to what does this mean for shareholders and investors going? Astonishing results for gold and palladium, starts John Carter. Tell us what this means. You were explaining a little bit to me about this this morning. Right. Explain it to our audience. In 2020, the management team made a production decision when silver was $16 an ounce. That tells you about our internal projections and our internal financial uh, thoughts. Gold is at 2200, sorry, that's not true. Gold is at 1650 an ounce right now. Palladium's at 2200 an ounce and rhodium's at 14,000. So we found gold, palladium and rhodium in our silver vein as we're processing the silver. Commentators following Silver Bullet keep saying they keep putting their energy into actions and, and your followers are increasing with their uh, support of you. I'm enjoying watching your uh, Twitter account, Peter. Can you tell some people new to Silver Bullet what that might actually mean? We have a big silver vein down in Arizona. We built our own mill to process the ore from our own mine. And we've been processing the silver. We have an order outstanding. And what happened was we were trying to pour Doré bars to fill that order. If you looked at the press release, you saw that there's a picture of a really ugly chunk of metal there. We could not get the silver to smelt correctly from this new part of the vein. The field team thought it was because there was a metal included that needed to be smelted at a higher temperature. And it turns out they were right. That's the palladium. Silver smelts around 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. You got to get palladium up to around 3300. But if you smelt the palladium, then you burn off the silver and the gold. That's why the Doré bar was so ugly. Metallurgists and the engineers are now working on the solution to that problem. But what's fascinating is palladium is one of the 31 critical minerals in the United States. There's only one active palladium mine in the United States right now, and that's in Montana. This could be the second. So now for the fun stuff. You have a section on your breaking news this morning with how the gold and palladium were found. So tell us, how were they found? Like I said, the Doré bars were just ugly. They could not get them to smelt correctly. So the field team thought it was another element included. They had a pretty good guess what it was. We sent a 2,000, well, a total of 2,000 ton sample to a local uh, lab to test. And from those 2,000 tons, they came back with the palladium, the gold, and the rhodium. And that's what was causing the Doré bar to be so ugly. So how are you going to follow up on this to, to build on the facts that you just referenced to me? Uh, well, like I said, the metallurgists are, are talking, the engineers are talking. We think we have a solution to this problem that can be enacted fairly quickly, but uh, not even a problem. Right? This is a wonderful win for the shareholders um, to figure out the next step in the process. If the silver was economic for us at $16 an ounce, imagine what it looks like with gold and rhodium and palladium. So, Peter, just confirm if I understand this correctly. You kind of have a challenge now because you can't produce the silver as anticipated because you have this additional win in your yep. results. Is that what's going on? Yep. Yep. And if silver is what it's eighteen dollars, nineteen dollars an ounce, we got rhodium at fourteen thousand, palladium at twenty two hundred, and gold at sixteen fifty, and that didn't factor into our internal projections. So we are briefly a very happy management team, and now we get back to work. And on that note, we're going to wish you luck on your offtake agreements, undoubtedly, that she will be doing <laughs> at the end of today. Thank you, Peter, as always, for an update on Silver Bullet Mines. And for more information, please go to their website. Thank you.